Good morning, Party Angels. My name is Brenda, and I'm here to do your workout with you today. So, this week is about keeping Port Angels healthy, and we hope you will tell your friends to join in, do these workouts at home, and let's all just work to do a little bit healthier. Now, I have today um, water bottles. You can fill these up. You can take two or three of these and put together on a rope. You can get a five gallon bucket and fill it with enough water to feel like it's heavy for you. I've also got a bag of dog food to make it a little bit heavier. You can use a chunk of firewood. Anything that you feel that is heavy enough around the house to work your back. So today we're doing back. Um, we're doing a little bit of cardio and we're doing our stretching right in the middle. I seem to have some help here. So um, first thing we're going to start with is a little bit of warm up. We're going to start with just bringing your hands back warming up your chest and your back area um, and then we'll get our workout started so those of you who are staying at home remember that they didn't used to have youtube videos and they didn't used to have tv and you've got kids at home and seniors at home who are kind of being in place other side um, and so all of these workouts can be modified to you. You don't have to pick up something heavy. You can hang on to a chair in order to stabilize yourself, but any movement is good for you. You don't want to come out of this um, quarantine in worse shape than when you started and feeling like you may not have the virus, but you don't seem to have forward and backwards. You don't seem to have any flexibility or strength or energy because exercise is what's giving you your energy along with good food. So um, join in, get your kids to join in, work at your level, and just be part of being a little bit healthier. All right, we're gonna go ahead with our legs and do a little bit of a scoop. So one leg forward, one leg back. We're just gonna reach forward and scoop. A Little bit of a hamstring stretch. And we're gonna do that from the other direction. And again, you don't have to go as fast. You don't have to do as much. Just do what you can. If you do anything, it's better than sitting on the floor. So what I'm doing is I'm getting a little bit of a hamstring, but I'm also pushing the hips forward to get a little bit of stretch in the front. And then just roll your shoulders a couple times. So the first move is just going to be a back row. I'm gonna start with my dog food. No, 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 this is not for you guys, okay? And you can start with your feet, uh, shoulder width apart, tighten your tush in your tummy, that's what's going to protect your back. Come over in a little bit of a squat and we're simply going to row. So just rowing from here, two, three, four. We're looking for 10 times just to warm us up. Anytime you feel like you need to stop the video, get a drink of water, or just do what you can three or four times and come back. Then do that and then come back into it. And then we're gonna go to some heel taps. Our heel taps, we're looking for 50. Again, you can do 20, you can do whatever it takes. I'm simply gonna put my feet forward like this and you can be doing this fairly fast. You wanna bring your heart rate up or you can be tapping like this. So I'm gonna go for 50, six, So stop when you need to, but looking for 50. All right, so the purpose is to get your wind up a little bit. Remember, the little bit of cardio, it's not only burning fat, but that's the part that builds your immune system. So you really wanna get into doing that. All right, so our first stretch is going to be hip stretch. Back foot can be turned out. Front foot needs to be facing forward. You wanna grab a chair or a wall if you don't have balance, because it's not about doing the balance, it's about getting the stretch. So knee is gonna go halfway over. Back foot is gonna turn so that it's absolutely straight. If your toes turned out a little bit, turn it straight so that you get a nice stretch in hip. And if you feel like your knee is going over your toe, Take your foot out a little further so that when you stretch down, you get that hip um, back of the, the leg stretch without this knee going over the toe. So pushing forward to get that stretch. Now bring your shoulders back so that you get this front stretch here and bring your 
arm up that matches the leg, or you can just hang onto your wall um, or your chair and push back as far as you can. Hold that stretch for 30 seconds. So we hold the stretch for 30 seconds because if you just release, if you hold it and you release, you're no more stretched out. If you hold something for 30 seconds and then you go slightly deeper, then you've got a little bit more stretch because there's little receptors in there that release. So just about 30 seconds, count in your head, 1,000, 1,000, two. Watch a clock, I'm just estimating. And once you get to about 30 seconds, go slightly deeper and then release. We're gonna do the other side, okay? So front foot forward, grab your wall, grab your chair. Bring that knee halfway over, turn your back foot around so that it's straight. And look down at your back foot, make sure that back foot is straight. Push forward until you've got a stretch in the back of your calf, leaving the heel on the ground. Start pushing your shoulders back so that you get the stretch in the front of your hip. Bring that arm up and back. If you're having trouble with balance, don't do the arm part. But the ideal is to have a stretch in the back, stretch in the front, 30 seconds and slightly deeper. So hopefully today after a few days of exercise, you're gonna come out of this feeling like you have a little bit more flexibility as well as burn some calories and built some strength. And you weightlifters, this is so important for you guys because you find that weightlifters tend to get a little bit muscle bound, go just a little bit deeper. And so guys who are lifting heavy weights, they start rounding in the chest. Um, people who sit on the couch, that's a lot of people doing Netflix right now. You get really tight in these hips and you're starting to bend over. And if that continues, you become that little old person walking over the top of your walker. So really getting everything stretched back out and getting your posture muscles stretched back out is gonna help you a lot. Second set of weights. So if you can come up, you have something, you have weights at home to come up, that's okay. So again, you can have your feet staggered, you can have them here, but tighten your butt, tighten your stomach, Come over a little bit, row from there. This time, because my weight is not coming up and I need to make it a little bit harder because I'm now um, warmed up a little bit, I'm gonna go for 15. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Tighten your butt, push your hips in. Again, you are working at your pace, getting a drink when you need to. So we're going to go back to our heel taps again, looking for 50, bringing your heart rate up a little bit. So toe taps are like this, at your pace, four, five, six, Okay, so I wanted to go all the way through. If you are not through, go get a drink of water, shut off your video, wait for everybody else, do whatever you have to do. This is at your level, you wanna be a little bit breathless. So if you are compromised in any way, just moving your feet fast, we'll do that. And one of the things that I was trying to teach you on the step is even on the floor when we did step class, is if you add arms, then you can raise your heart rate that way and just move faster without doing the jump, okay? So drink of water, let your heart rate come down. We're gonna go into another stretch. And the stretches is a great place to let that heart rate come down. So this time, it doesn't matter what's happening with the back leg, we're stretching the front leg behind. So you can lay your butt against a table or a wall Bring one leg up, the toe up, one leg out, and just keep that leg straight and come down until you feel a nice stretch in the back of that leg and hold. So we're going 30 seconds again and slightly deeper. Just letting your heart rate come down a little bit. So if you are stretching, remember 
I'm going to add balance things into it. The stretch is really about the stretch. Don't try and balance because you don't get as good a stretch at the same time as your stretch. Just do the stretch. Go slightly deeper when you're done. Go to the other side. But don't try and do your balance all together. We'll add that in. Okay, so toe up. And a little bit deeper. And again, a workout is at your level. So you pick up the weight that works for you. If 15 is too easy, go a few more. You really want a heavy enough weight that somewhere in the 10 to 15 range is really taxing you. And even guys, you should be standing here with buckets of five gallon water, making sure that you get the weight you need to get the workout you need. So we're gonna do one final set. Again, I don't have a heavier weight here at this time. So I can either do more reps, I can slow it down to make it harder, or I can add more weight because each set needs to be harder. So what I'm going to do as I warm up is I'm going to row and then row again. So I'm going to kind of stop in the middle and then start again because that's going to make me work a little harder. And I'm going to put one foot back and do a little bit of balance with this. So when I'm bent over, I want to keep my tush and my tummy tight. I'm going to row up halfway. I'm going to row up all the way. Halfway down, all the way down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. I'm going to do one more. We're at five. And then I'm going to show you a little trick to help engage that back. When you get to the top, squeeze your shoulders back a little harder. Set it down slow. Negative reps means we pull it up. I'm going to squeeze it a little harder. I'm going to come down slow. One, two, three, four. Make those muscles work. Squeeze it up. Squeeze it a little harder. Down, two, three, four. Now, if you need to be standing like this and keeping your butt and tummy tight, however that works. Pull it up hard. Squeeze it harder. Down, two, three, four. Pull it up hard. Squeeze back harder. Down, two, three, four. Pull it up hard. Squeeze it harder. Down, two, three, four, three more. Pull it up hard. Squeeze it harder. Down, two, three, four. Again, up hard. One, two, three, four. Pull it up hard. Squeeze it harder. Hold it, hold it, hold it with your back. It's like your shoulder blades are squeezing a quarter as hard as you can, as long as you can. And set it down. Good. Right, another set of toe taps guys burn a little fat work on your immune system so here we go looking for 50 again tap at your pace stop when you need to and if we get done before you just stop the video walk away finish yours and come back so here we go this keep going all righty shake it out keep going if you're going at your pace get that heart rate up remember modification add the arms if you need to get your heart rate up without jumping so please please tag your friends See if we can get as many people working out together in Port Angeles as we can. We want the entire city pulling together and being the healthiest place in America. And we can do that because everybody's connected. You've all got family and friends. And everybody's got somebody sitting at home quarantined that you're worrying about because they're not getting exercise. You've got kids that are not getting enough exercise. So get in there, get them cans of soup, get them jumping, get them moving, get them stretching with you. We've got older, older kids who don't exercise at all. They're just playing on their phones. And pretty soon those playing on their phones kids are gonna be these kids who are, for, who are battling with weight. So get them up, get them flexible, get them moving. Our next, um, our next uh, stretch is gonna be feet out. So you wanna get your, your feet nice and straight and you want your toes forward because if my toes go this way, my knees are gonna go forward. 
So I want my toes straight. I want to bring my hips back. And then with my hands on my knees, I'm going to bring shoulder to the knee without moving the hips. So keep your hips absolutely still. Push your shoulder to your knee. You'll feel a nice stretch along your back. And push your shoulder over to your other, other knee. We're going to do this five times. So this is the second time. And each time, push down into it hard enough that you feel a nice stretch, no pain. Okay? Keeping your butt back. Nothing on my body's moving except my shoulder to my knee, my upper body. My lower body is not moving. Keep those stretches going. We're going to do two more, and then we're going to change our exercise for our back. One more on both sides. Get that nice stretch. Go at your pace. And we're going to single arms. So single arms. Again, I've got a jug of water that's filled up. You could put two jugs together and kind of hold them with both hands. You could find a bigger jug and fill it. You could do a bucket of water, single bucket. So whatever you need to. But we're going to be doing a single arm and we're also going to start adding our balance into this. So I'm going to get off my mat so that I have a little bit more balance. I'm going to bring one foot back and I can put that foot on the floor. Now if you have no balance at all, turn it sideways. You never want to go over this knee, okay? So I can put my hand on this knee. If I've got the balance, I can turn my toe up. That's the second level. I can lift off if I need to. That's the third level. I can hang on to something and just let go, let go, okay? Doesn't matter wherever you're at, but when I pull up, I'm gonna pull right next to my waistline. I'm gonna squeeze that elbow back over my back, and I'm gonna look over my shoulder a little because not only will it get my back muscles, but it will get those lower back kind of fatty area that we all pick up. And so toe stays right where it needs to go. If you can balance, you try and balance for 10. My balance is not good today, but it doesn't matter. You just do what you can at your pace. I could just be hanging on to a chair here. Those who've worked with me before know that I really push balance and side movement because everything we do is forward. So other foot, stand on that foot, toe goes back. Same thing, you're gonna look over your shoulder and row. Apparently, I'm not doing any balance today. One side is always better than the other. Good. So just looking for 10 of those. And we're going to do a little bit of a um, yoga move. So feet facing forward. Step out nice and wide, <clears throat> take your front foot, turn it sideways, the other foot is still facing forward, bring that knee halfway over. I'm going to take the palm closest to my leg and I'm just going to start bringing it down the leg. I'm going to take my other hand and I'm going to bring it straight up. So I look kind of like a windmill and I'm going to slide down that leg as far as I can so that I get a nice stretch in my side and in my leg. And we're going to hold that. Three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm holding this for 30 seconds. A lot of times when I'm doing yoga with people, we just go in and out of poses. But today we're doing a strength workout. So this balance, your in balance position, you're holding a stretch for 30 seconds, and you're holding a lot of isolation muscles holding that position. So just doing that becomes part of a hard workout. And again, you people who do not stretch, this becomes super important for you to do. So go down just a little bit deeper and push up off your front foot. We're gonna go to the other side. So start with your feet straight, turn the other foot the other way. Tighten your core muscles, your tush and your tummy. That's what helps with the balance. Knee goes halfway over. So if that knee is going over the toe, take your foot out a little further. Knee goes halfway over the toe. Hand closest to the leg goes down. Other hand goes up and over you go. And then we're gonna try and hold it again for 30 seconds, which is super hard. So just do the best you can. I 
apparently have helpers this morning. Sorry about that. So you can see that we are gym people and dog people. It's great if you have kids. Kids are great weights if you need weights. Okay, hold that. Now just go just a little bit deeper. Push off that front leg and come back up. Bring your feet around. Second set, we're gonna go ahead and do another set of rowing. Um, and actually what we forgot today is we forgot our other cardio move. So our cardio move is gonna be skaters. Skaters, um, you can either step side to side because the lateral movement, the side movement is so good for your muscles, we never get that. You can jump side to side. You can make it harder by coming down because coming down and coming up is harder. And you can make it harder by going all the way down like you're skating and touching the floor. So we're gonna do 50 of those, or 20, or 15, or whatever you can do. As soon as your heart rate comes up, that's the point of this. And as you get stronger, you'll do more of them. So don't worry, you're home, you're with your family. Nobody cares if you do one or 50. Again, get off the couch because you're absolutely capable of taking care of your body. And then just because I don't have a clock and my mouth is going, I don't know where 50 is, so when I get kind of breathless, I'm gonna stop. All right. So drink of water. When you're ready, we're gonna go back to doing some back rows. So if you're a beginner, you can always stop after the first set. At least you've done something. I'm using the same muscles over and over for this week. So the second set is more the intermediate person using those muscles a little bit more. Um, and then the third set is really kind of pushing those areas because you'll be sore the more muscles you use. If you've been working out, don't worry about it. You got this, work at your level. All right, so I'm gonna do another row. Foot back, your weight wherever you need to be. <clears throat> Tighten your tush in your tummy. Again, if you just gotta stand there and do this, you can. If you can add the balance, try adding the balance. You really gotta tighten the core. And you'll find that each set you do, your balance will get a little bit better because those balance muscles are warmed up. Now I'm not looking over my shoulder when I'm balancing, but I'm going to 15. So when I do 10 with the balance, I'm gonna finish out the last five, looking over my shoulder so that I also get that waistline. You know, exercise is not, let's do the other side. Exercise is not about being a certain size. If you, those people who know me, my weight goes up and down like a pogo stick, um, depending on how active I am. What counts is, do you still get back in the game? Do you keep coming back because you're human? There's gonna be times that you do better or worse. Whoops, I'm looking over my shoulder. And there's gonna be times when you are more involved with something happening in your life. So just do what you can and never stop. It's the stopping is where things really go south and go the wrong way. Just do something. If you could start somewhere, then you can do more the next day. In four days, your muscles are stronger. So it's only four days and you're more capable of doing that exercise again. So just by you loving yourself enough to do something means you're gonna be engaged in life a lot longer. You're gonna be playing with your grandkids. You're gonna be skating with your kids. You're gonna be swimming with your kids. You're not gonna sit your whole life on the sideline. You have to love yourself and carve out a time for yourself because it's that important for your quality of life. Okay. We're gonna go back to the stretch. So this time we're gonna do a forward balance move. I'm gonna get off of my mat again. Um, feet forward again. Front leg comes forward just like when we did the triangle. Push that knee forward. This time all it is is balance. So you wanna tighten your tush in your tummy. I'm gonna turn that foot and you can start by holding a chair and taking your foot off. If your balance is right here on your toe and you can hold that, that takes a lot of work for 30 seconds. 
Tap down as many times as you can. If you can get your foot up, then try. But again, you're just working at your pace and doing what you can. There is nobody who doesn't tap down or struggle with balance and holding muscles sometimes. So just do what you can and hold it. I don't know what 30 seconds are, so we're just gonna hold it a while because it's not a stretch as much as a balance move. A little bit longer. Again, if you're tapping down, just pick it back up, tighten your core. Your balance comes from your tush and your tummy being tight, and then push that leg out straight. When you get weak legs, you're all over the place. Let's go to the other side. Feet out, turn that front foot. Again, the knee's halfway over. Turn the back foot. Try and get off of the foot if you can. You can be right here the whole 30 seconds because there's a lot of balance going on right here, or you can try lifting it. I don't care where your hands are. We're not trying to be pretty, we're just trying to balance. So if you gotta have your hands out there like sticks, trying to balance, that's okay. Hold it. 